In this short tutorial, I'm going to walk us through how to register for Twitter and how to use it for our World Civilization course. I'm going to swipe to the side here because in Firefox, I am not logged into Twitter. Um, so I can show you what it looks like when you just go to uh, twitter.com. And here we are. So if you don't yet have an account, you want to click sign up. If you already have one, click log in, or you may already be logged in. Type your name. Um, if you don't want to use your phone number, click use email instead, and then use an email address. There's that email, and just put those in. I already have an account, so I'm not going to complete all these steps. It might tell me that I already have an account. Oh, this will just tell me the terms of service, privacy policy. Please do look into those things, as I've mentioned in a couple of the course documents. Um, it is important to understand how Twitter uses your information. If you uh, are not particularly keen on having Twitter use a lot of your information, it's fine to um, use a pseudonym. Uh, if you don't want people to see you as your um, actual persona online, again, use a pseudonym. Please just let me know what that pseudonym is and I will make sure that I give you credit for all of your work here on Twitter. Um, as I mentioned, I'm not going to go through all the steps here. I'll let you do that. Um, I'm going to go back to twitter.com. This time it uh, brought me to a login, so I'm going to log into my account. Um, I could either use my email address or my Twitter handle. Here it is. Um, and then, let's see if I remember my password. It's here. And here we are. Um, so this is what your Twitter account will look like when you log in. If you're not following anyone, you might not see anything here in this feed. Um, the Twitter feed is the people you follow. Um, so that's where you will see their tweets. You'll notice that Twitter does not update in real time. Um, every now and then it will update and show you how many new tweets there are to see. You can click on that to see them or not. For the purposes of our class, you don't have to follow anyone if you don't want to. Um, what you do need to do, oh, and let me, before I move on to what you do need to do, um, over here is where you see your um, profile. You can click that, and um, here you see, this is the photo that I've chosen for now, my background. Those are both Guatemala pictures from our study abroad last May. Um, you can personalize this to the extent that you choose. If you don't want to add photos, you just want your name, you don't want to have a bio, a blurb there, that's totally fine. Again, you need to make those choices about what it is that you want to share and how you want to present yourself here. Um, what you will need to do for class is make sure that your Twitter account is unprotected, uh, because if it is protected, none of the rest of us will be able to see your posts to Twitter. And then you want to use the search box and type in the course hashtag, which is the pound sign, H-I-S-T-1-1-2. Um, you can either hit enter or click the little um, magnifying glass, and then you will see the feed for History 112, Hist 112. Um, you'll notice that people have used this a few years ago. I made sure that nobody's using it right now, so it will be ours for the fall. Um, you want to click Latest over here, because the top tweets will show you whatever Twitter decides are the top, the most important ones. But if you click Latest, you will see the most recent posts that have the course hashtag, and then if you scroll down, you'll see uh, earlier ones. So that's how you'll be able to tell what others have posted um, it's by uh, scrolling through the feed. When you want to post to Twitter yourself, you click the Tweet button. You'll notice that if you're in the course hashtag search already, it will put the hashtag there for you. Uh, you can either click in front of it or behind it, and then type your tweet. Um, note that if you are not in the course hashtag, you will need to actually just type the hashtag, which is again pound HIST112. And you'll notice as I start typing, it turns blue. It becomes like a hyperlink that you can click on and see the hashtag feed or the search. We get rid of one of those and click tweet. All right, our tweet was sent. As I mentioned, um, Twitter does not update in real time, so we'll see that one pop up here in just a minute or two. Um, but again, remember that the assignment here on Twitter, um, Unit 1 or Module 1, is a little unique because we'll be defining civilization with our posts. Um, but generally what you'll be doing is uh, commenting on what you found most interesting, most significant, what questions you have. 
about the reading that was assigned for a particular module. Um, you'll write those comments in your tweets. You'll remember to include the course hashtag so that others in the course can find your work. Um, here's our new results, um, just as I showed you. Uh, so again, as long as you type this hashtag into all of your tweets, you'll be able to find one another's work and you'll be able to reply to each other. For each module, you will need to post at least 15 tweets. 10 of those are the comments or the notes that I was just mentioning based on the readings and the videos. Um, and then you will need to also reply to classmates, at least five replies. Um, you'll use the speech bubble button to do that. Uh, just FYI, these are some analytics. This is how you like a tweet. And this is to retweet something, which you don't necessarily have to use any of those unless you want to. But you do need to use the reply button. So when you see someone else's tweet that you want to reply to, click that speech bubble. It'll pop up another box and then type your reply. Um, you also, it's always best to use the course hashtag. If you read the, um, not the reading tweets instructions, but the other document that I provided in module one, um, I did mention that I will put you on a Twitter list. That's just a list that I compile so that I can keep track of everyone on Twitter. That does mean that I will see everything you post to Twitter, or at least I'll be able to. I don't just like go through people's feeds, um, but I will be able to see them. Um, and so that's something to keep in mind when you're deciding whether or not you want to use your existing personal Twitter account, or you might want to make a separate Twitter account that you use just for class. Here's our new result there. Um, so again, you make those kinds of decisions and uh, that is entirely up to you, what you decide to do. As long as you're using the course hashtag, I'll see your work and uh, we'll move forward and initiate our discussions about the readings here on Twitter.